quick video about accuracy and precision. You can find um, many resources uh, that will teach you about accuracy and precision, but I wanted to make this video um, <coughs> excuse me, and speak uh, specifically about accuracy and precision in terms of scientific measurements. Um, so not about, it's not, in this time, it's not about shooting arrows into a target and what it means to be accurate in shooting uh, and precise in shooting. Although it is related um, to making scientific measurements as well. So I I don't want to beat around the bush very much because uh, this camera, uh, I guess, is making a HD video. I don't want it to take too much memory as I'm uploading it. So here it goes. An accurate measurement is a measurement that that reflects uh, the truth of the value that you're measuring. That means if I'm trying to measure height of Joe and uh, height of Joe, let's say, is 1.8 meters, then an accurate measurement would be a measurement that would show me his true height, 1.8 meters. So if my measurement is 1.9 meters or 2 meters or 3 meters or anything other than 1.8 meters, then my measurement is not accurate. <coughs> um, how can how can your measurement not be accurate? So wh why is it that you know that, that you're measuring something and you don't get the the, the true value? And uh, I guess when you're when you're first going to make a measurement, you don't know what the true value is. And so you know any measurement that you take might be like oh but this this is probably the, the true value. But the fact is that you don't know what the true value is. Uh, I mean, if you if you know it, then then why to take it? I guess maybe to make sure. But if you know what something how how tall it is or or how tall a person is, then why why to measure it? Yeah. So you measure usually something because you want to find out how big, tall, heavy, um, whatever it is that you're trying to measure. So you don't know what the real value is. And when you're making a measurement, there's always a ton of ways to make a mistake, um, an error. <coughs> this could be. Uh, well, let, let's talk specifically, let's say, about taking a measurement of height. Yeah. So depending on how you are going to measure the height, uh, for example, if you're going to be using a ruler to measure, uh, well, this is too, measure, too small to measure height, but uh, let's say a length of something, let's say a length of pencil. So here's one way how you can make a mistake. Uh, notice that here where, where the zero is, this is not the end of the ruler. Yeah? So if you are going to place the beginning of the pencil right here, not where the zero is, then all of your measurements are going to be offset by this, this space in here. And so your value is not going to be accurate. And there are many similar ways how to make a mistake when you're making measurement. Another common uh, way to make a mistake when, when using rulers and, and uh, finding length or height is to um, do the parallax error. If you take your finger like this, and you can try this. If you look at your finger and you notice the background behind the finger, when you open your left eye or, or your right eye and you look at the finger and then you open your right eye, you can see that the background moves. And so the finger is at this spot, but depending on which eye you're using to, to look at it, you'll see the different spot with respect to the background. And so this happens quite often that, you know, my wife shouts at me <coughs> uh, when, when we are driving. And she, she looks at how fast I'm going, and she doesn't like it. Uh, and in fact, what she sees from the passenger seat, from her angle, is not really where the handle on the speedometer is showing. You know, And so um, this is called parallax error. And there are just a gazillion ways how to, how to make errors when you're performing a measurement. And so, um, again, when, when what you measure is not what it should be, what the it doesn't reflect the, uh, the real value of what you're measuring, then your measurement is not accurate. So you could ask, how can you make sure that your measurements are accurate, or what can we do so that our measurements would be accurate or more accurate? There are, there are different ways that what you can do. Um, well, you, should, you should be careful when you're making a measurement. Yeah? You should be familiar with the measuring instrument that you're using. You should, you should always... Uh, before you take the measurement using a measuring instrument, you should somehow test it or, or look at it and see what are the, the things that you could make a mistake with. Uh, if the ruler is bended, you know, <coughs> let's say if you're using a scale, um, you need to make sure that the scale is calibrated. Um, depending on what scale you are using, the calibration process is different. Um, so, you know, maybe 
the scale, when you don't have anything on the scale, it already shows some reading. So instead of being at zero, when there's nothing on the scale, it shows five. And so if you didn't notice this at the beginning, if you didn't look at what the reading is without anything on the scale, then all of your measurements would be <coughs> off by five units of whatever uh, the scale was showing. Um, so one way to, to make accurate measurements is just to be familiar with the measuring instrument that you're using. Um, you know, after you use it several times, you figure out how, how it works and what are the mistakes that you can make. Um, then you start to be more um, aware of how you can make a mistake with a particular measuring instrument. Um, there's another good way how to, how to take care of accuracy, and that is don't rely on just one measured value. So you should measure, you know, whatever you're measuring uh, several times. And, you know, you could, you could ask, okay, how many times should I measure it? Well, really, it depends on <coughs> different different criteria. Uh, you could say the minimum is three. Well, maybe, okay. Um, but let's say if you're taking measurement of something and you measure it ten times, or you measure it three times, and each time you get a different measurement, you know, you could ask, okay, should I measure it again? Well, the question is, well, were those three that you took, were they close to each other? Or were they really very different? If they were very different, then yes, of course, you have to measure more, 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 until you start seeing that your, that your measurements are you know, getting closer to each other and that you're getting they're around a particular value. And then you can start taking averages. And usually when you're taking careful measurements, when you t the more measurements you take, then the average will closely re more closely reflect uh, what the real value of that quantity that is that you're measuring. So that's accuracy, just, just being able to measure what the actual value is, um, the, the true value, or getting close to the true value. This, in the, in the case of shooting the arrow into the target, would mean you know, hitting the bullseye. <coughs> now, how about precision? What does, it make, what does it mean to make a precise measurement? And here is where I would argue a little bit with your textbook, or where I would maybe add to what your textbook is saying. Your textbook is saying that precise measurement just means that that you can repeat the same measurement in exactly the same way, that <coughs> meaning that the measured values are very close to each other, so there is not a big spread of your measured values. So, well, uh, let me read it what, it, what it says in here, exactly. It says, precision is a measure of how close a series of measurements are to one another, irrespective of the actual value. So you could be like shooting the arrow, yeah? You can, if you can place all of your arrows within a certain small area, no matter how far it is from the, from the center of the target or from wherever you actually want to get, if they're all within a small group, you know, precision shooters, they even measure these groups and, and they can tell you know, how, how, pre how precise they are. <coughs> Not how accurate, but how precise they are, how small these groups are close to each other. Um, in the same way, you know, when you're taking measurements, how, how closely those measurements are uh, together, that's a measurement of precision. So when you're trying to figure out whether your measurement is precise, you don't compare your individual measurements to the true value. You compare just to, you know, to, to each other and see how close they are. But there's another important thing to precision, and that is um, with how many significant digits you can, you can measure, let's say, length or, or weight. Or, or mass, or whatever it is, again, that you're measuring, or time. <coughs> How many digits can you report? You know, is Joe, is Joe real height, is it 1.8000000 meters, or is it 1.8123444456? And how far can you go? You know, how many decimals can you, can you, uh, can you report in your measurement? So this is another way how to what what it means to make a precise measurement. It means that you are using the measuring instrument uh, to its maximum um, ability to give you as many uh, decimal points um, in your measurement as possible. Um, using a, a millimeter ruler like this, you know the maximum you can report. Of course, you can report centimeters and you can report millimeters. And you can even guess, you know, estimate within the millimeter marks. Because you can, you can, if you look closely with a magnifying glass, you can tell whether it's, you know, uh, in between of the tick marks or whether it's closer to one or, or the other. And so you can make the last estimated digit within a certain uncertainty, you know, plus or minus. You can talk about parts of a millimeter here. 
So you can say that the length is 5.63 uh, centimeters, for example, with a, with a ruler like this. Uh, but that's, that's the maximum that you can, you know, you can tell. That's maximum decim decimal points that you can report. There are measurement, measuring instruments for length um, that can that can give you more significant digits. They can measure, uh, you know, we have these called vernier calipers, and our laboratory is closed right now, and it's evening, so I don't have access to it. But there are measuring instruments with which you can, there is a, an instrument in our lab which is called a micrometer, with which you can measure to a, I think you can measure to a millionth of a meter, yeah? So you can report <coughs> um, three more significant digits with that measuring instrument than than with this uh, simple rule. So that that's another thing, you know, that's very important in in um, taking measurement to be able to, of course, give an accurate value, but also to use our measuring instruments to to report the the answers to a, a you know as many significant digits as possible. Excuse me. Of course, this also depends on what you're going to be using the instrument, the measuring for. If you're measuring distance from one city to another city, you don't have to report the centimeters or the millimeters or the parts of the millimeter, because they are irrelevant, irrelevant uh, for whatever you're using. If you're trying to find out how long it's going to take you to, to travel from Istanbul to, I don't know, Moscow or, or to New York, you don't have to know the millimeters and the parts of the millimeter. Uh, but if you're trying to, um, you know, measure I don't know, um, width of a hair, then of course you, you would be using an instrument that can report these small differences. And you want to use, depending on what you want the, the measurement for, uh, some instrument might not be even, you know, <coughs> might not give you what, what you need. So if I, if I want to measure the, the width of a hair and I try to measure it with a, with a centimeter ruler like this, the, the, the measurement is going to be, you know, just just waste. It's it's a waste of time to, to do it because I wouldn't be able to to use. It. I can't uh, find the correct word. Uh, not a waste of time. It would be uh, pointless. Uh, pointless, I guess, is the word. You know. So I hope this helps you with the idea of accuracy and precision uh, when you're doing measurements. Uh, again, depending on what you're going to be using those values for, try you try to be both accurate and try to be as precise as possible as well. And with time, and with you know, when you, when you want to make an accurate and precise measurement, when you're carefully making the measurement, then making several measurements on average, you will be getting closer. Um, it is not always true that making many measurements on average you are getting closer. If your measurements, you know, if you're being careful, uh, and and you're you know just just goofing off, you're just horse playing with your measuring instruments, then actually taking more measurements, you can get further away from the from the true value than uh, you know. Making more measurements will not bring you closer, will not give you larger accuracy. Only careful uh, um, measurements, you know, when you're focusing on what you're doing, with more measurements you will get closer to, to the accurate value that you're trying to find out.